Good morning, good morning everybody. Stetson from Stetson Slunk here guys. Today is Thursday morning and uh, apologize for the loud birds, but it is morning time. But we got a uh, little small landscape job that we're doing today. Basically what we're gonna be doing is tearing out the old landscape and putting in all new plants, mulch, um, all that fun stuff. So it'll be a good day. We're gonna take the mini skid steer. This is the first official job I'm taking her out on. So we'll have to see how she performs, but you can see here we got everything loaded up. So we got some knockout roses, some salvias and then a bunch of petunias back here so uh, but we're gonna go over to the shop load up the mini skid in the dump trailer so let's go do that man Alright guys, just like that, all loaded up. I've seen a strapper down and we're good to go. So we'll see you in a sec. So we're all strapped in, got a strap on either hook up here and then around the bucket, cylinder pin down there. So we should be good to go, got everything we need. We're just waiting for Fletch to get here and then we're gonna head out so we'll see you guys at the drop site. Alright guys, so we're at the place of business. We got Fletch with us. Fletch, how you doing? Hey, bro, we got new machinery. New machinery, that's right. So uh, this is what we're doing basically. Really small job, but it's a good job to bring the skid out to kind of get used to it. So we're just gonna be tearing out everything in this flower bed and this flower bed, and then we're gonna plan new stuff. So it should be a pretty easy breeze with the skid steer, but let's get it unloaded.
right guys so first impression uh it definitely beats a shovel and wheelbarrow that's for sure we got a uh, i mean it took three three loads to empty this flower bed out still a little bit more we'll probably get one more bucket out of it but next up we're gonna hit this one so we're gonna pull all these weeds out and then uh, rake everything up on this just like that one so let's get that done but man this thing so far so good i like it although i only used it for about 10 minutes right there but works good no issues so no issues yeah i don't want to jinx myself but let's keep moving and grooving All right guys, so you see Fletch is getting this flower bed all tilled up, and then we're gonna rip those roots out at the end, but we got, uh, she wanted to keep this yellow rose bush. So we kept that, we got all the mulch cleaned out, you guys can see, it looks uh, really good, man. This thing exceeded my expectations, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, it does what it should. I mean, I only had to use it for maybe 30 minutes total, but loaded it good, man. Really beats a wheelbarrow and shovel. You can see we got all this loaded up towards the front because we're gonna keep the mini skid in the middle area. So I'll go dump this at my buddy's place later this week, maybe tomorrow. I guess at the end of this week because tomorrow is Friday. But anyway, so far guys, so good. This little thing's neat. Um, it didn't get overheated, didn't do anything. Albeit it's not that hot out here. It's like maybe 80, but you know, it's really humid. So it's probably more like 85 right now. Really, really humid. So uh, yeah, so far so good. Didn't really tear up the grass either because we used, uh, I used the wood board. So I was turning around on this piece of wood and then placed the extra planks to extend it. But I was turning on that, so we didn't really tear anything up. So that's good. But anyway, flesh is getting finished up and we're going to set this border that she already had and we're going to plant. So let's keep it going.
All right, guys, so Fletch is getting finished up, putting the uh, last of the flowers in. While I was doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the machine so we got some time. If you guys see, I do raise up the trailer a little bit. I do raise it up because it's a pretty steep angle if I don't, so let's get loaded up. All right guys, so what's up? We are finished and I actually quoted this perfectly. We finished right at the exact time I thought, so couldn't have worked out better, but here it is guys. Finished product, finished reveal. We got rose bushes in the back, salvias in the middle, and a bunch of petunias in the front over here. And then this side got the same thing. A bunch of petunias, some salvias, and some rose bushes. We did red, pink, red. So man, it looks really good. This is gonna look so good once everything comes in and blooms, um, especially with the new mulch and everything. So just looks amazing, man. Can't complain here. Um, I'm hoping she'll be happy. I'm gonna send her a picture, they're not home. So we'll have to see how, she, how it looks, but I think my opinion looks good. We reset all the all the flower bed border all the way around. So nice and level, nice and uh, straight and everything. So man, it looks good. Flesh knocked it out of the park, man. He did good. And then the skid steer really was the MVP today because we didn't have to do any uh, really back breaking work. Skid loaded everything up. You see all the dirts up front. And uh, yeah, so my opinion, it's the best money I've ever spent right there. So we're gonna head out to the shop. So we'll catch you guys when we get back there. All right guys, what's up? So we're back at the shop. Got everything unloaded, finished for the day. Got a little pile of dirt in the dump trailer. I'll probably dump it tomorrow on Friday because I gotta get some more stuff done with the dump trailer tomorrow, some trimming and whatnot. So should all work out perfectly. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, man. First video with the skid steer first initial thoughts man i loved it i uh, can't complain skid steer has been great we only used it for maybe a total of an hour but man it really was awesome not having to shovel stuff in the wheelbarrow and then walk it up the dump trailer uh at a steep angle you know so really nice man uh, i'm very glad i got that mini skid we'll see how it holds up with the summer heat that gets here because you know we get into like the 110s up in oklahoma very curious to see how it's going to do in the summer heat but We'll cross that bridge when we get there, man. We've got another job for that skid steer next week, so I'm excited to bring it out again. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Got all that thing, everything planted. Skid steer got used, and uh, man, it's great. This is a great little setup, man. Using the Duramax with the dump trailer and the skid steer. That's literally the perfect setup I can think of. So, uh, you know, loading up the skid steer and taking it off was a little sketchy at first, but I've done it maybe five times now, so I'm getting a little more used to it. Uh, definitely getting used to the controls on the machine. And I'm really liking them. So but let me know how you guys like the video, the skid steer style, and uh, you know the landscape. Let me know what you thought of the job. The customer is very happy. I'm very happy. I'll put a little before and after on screen. I got uh, made a little collage, so I'll put a couple before and after pictures. Looks really good. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace out.